There are black holes that are formed at the consequence of the death of stars. And we think we understand the formation of stars well enough to say, well, a star is born with this much mass and it'll lose a certain amount of mass over its life. All stars lose mass because there's so much pressure and so much energy coming out, it carries particles with it. So they, they lose mass. The sun is losing mass. It's called the solar wind. So everybody loses mass out there. Uh, the question is, at what rate are you losing mass? Is it a lot compared to your total mass? Is it small? Very high mass stars are not especially stable objects. They, they remain stars for 100,000, at most a million years, and they'll explode and become a supernova. If you're more massive than that, they will not explode because the gravity is so strong that it cannot explode against the strength of the gravity and it collapses into a black hole. So we expect black holes to have somewhat less mass than the most massive stars that we know how to make. So if you have 100 times the mass of the sun star, it'll lose half of its mass over its life and you have a, a black hole that's 30 times the mass of the sun or 50 times the mass of the sun, fine. In the centers of galaxies, there are supermassive black holes, hundreds of thousands, millions times the mass of the sun. They're supermassive and they're black holes, we call them supermassive black holes because that's how we roll as astrophysicists. Well, could you have black holes somewhere in the middle of these two extremes? We do not know a phenomenon that will give you a black hole that's in between, that will birth a black hole that's in between these two uh, categories. You can make a black hole that eats its way there, fine, but we don't know how to make one. And we think we discovered a black hole that is sitting in this sort of nether world where there's no evidence that it ate to become that massive. And we don't know how to explain it by the formation and death of stars and is nowhere near the supermassive black hole in the center of the galaxy. So it's the frontier of research at this moment. We're reading the headline now. Uh, it's a news digest for science. So black hole shock theories swirl around the discovery of a physically impossible black hole. So scientists don't use the word impossible unless it's violating a known law of physics. Um, so I, I bet that was an editor's title. And I don't have a problem. I don't mind a little bit of sensationalism there. You can say it is a black hole that comes from an if it comes from an object, it is an object we know nothing about and have yet to discover. Well, we're not going to say it's an impossible object. Every time we point a telescope to the universe, we find something that we never predicted or understood.